Hello everybody. Um, today I'll be showing you how to use GPS module. Uh, this is one of the GPS sensor I'm going to use. Uh, this is Seed GPS Air 530. I recently got it and I was able to make it work. And this time I'm going to use Arduino Maker Wi-Fi 1010. So you don't have to use this. You can use any Arduino, but I have this one currently. And we will be using this TX and RX. Of course, you'll be using this VCC and ground because if you look at this one has also TX, RX, VCC and ground. We need to connect them. Only when we are connecting, I will be pay more attention because this transmission, this is receiving. You need to take this transmission from here into the Arduino's this uh, receiving part, receiving pin, and from this transmission into the this one so across you need to be doing that so that the rest is same cabling you will be doing cabling part is difficult for me that not the coding part and interestingly today i'm going to use visual studio to code okay um uh, i like this one better tell the truth uh, i like microsoft tools i'm doing c plus plus things mostly so this is again microsoft you know, uh, if you look at this Visual Studio code, you can download, it is free. Okay, so what I have done is I installed this platform IO. This is, how can you do that? You just go to the manage and extensions. You search this platform IO and install. I'm not going into the detail. If you wonder, I can create another video for that. And what I'm going to do is I just click open. You will see this uh, orange ant is coming. And now I'm going to create a new project. And it is asking me, that I am going to say uh, uh, Maker Wi Fi. We are not going to use Wi Fi feature. And 10. Okay. And GPS. Uh, that's it. And I need to select my board. I will just put 1010. It will automatically bring my board. And uh, it is asking me where to save it. I'm not going to use the default location because I'd like to everything to on my desktop. This might take time. Uh, where's my desktop here? IoT projects. I'm going to create a new folder for this. Uh, GPS video. Okay. So I will hit enter and finish. And this might take a little bit time. Be patient if it takes too much time. Okay, now things are coming up. Nice. So this is the project I created. We aren't dealing with only this INA file because we would like to uh, include header to communicate with this uh, new hardware, which is, uh, where is it? Which is our this GPS Air, okay? For this, we need an, uh, one information. So let's go back to here. Have a look, quick look at this code a little bit. And this code, as you see, we have header file we include, and it is classic Arduino things and setup and loop function we have, but we have not, not much things in here. And uh, before moving, I'd like to show you some information about the GPS. GPS is, you know, global, global positioning system. It uses satellite information. Um, at least three satellites needed to find wherever you are. So you don't need to have an internet connection or anything like that uh, as long as, as you have battery and you, this device will work. So wiring, I'm just giving you one more time. We are going to use this UART, UART things, Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. Only this part is important. We need to, while we are connecting. These are the, my device. You know, this is Air 530. Z, I'm using as a GPS. I'm going to put the links down there. And also, this is the Arduino 1010. And this is the cabling. If you look at this orange, orange is actually, I don't have, I should have yellow cable here. Orange cable is going into this yellow one, which is transmission. Uh, I'm transmitting. And this is going into the receiving part over here, if you look at. And the, this white cabling is, is it, Transmission from Arduino, this white, I connect it with the white, same white, so it goes into the receiving. But VCC and ground is staying, staying the same, and the same map is over here. If you are wondering how do you wire up, this part is uh, 
that much. It's, you need to be careful only uh, this part. The rest is same in the grow and my maker Wi-Fi 1010. The pins are here. All is explained. This is not complicated, but need to be careful. And at the very beginning, it may take, you know, if you are in connecting for the first time, it may take 30 seconds to, you know, uh, these things to wake up and send you a signal. And there are two LEDs. You see now the blue, but there is next to it another one yellow. So when it receives data, this will blink. Moving on again, this is the more detailed information. How do we connect? Let's go back to uh, our development environment and code a little bit. So I'm going to just exit from this. And this is our coding environment. So in order to start, firstly, we need to include, uh, you know, some header in the platform any. Which is which is tiny GPS uh, plus we are going to use. So I I am using this platform uh, IO as you know. If you click this one, you can. Uh, there should be okay. This is the platform I I'm looking the wrong place. There is a library you see here. You just click this, and before that I'd like to show you on what is the difference. If you if you look at this code, I mean this line, we don't have much. But you will see one line will be added. You can do by hand, but I'm going to show you how do you add library to here. You just click in the, this, this ant libraries and you search for it. Okay. I will be searching this tiny GPS plus library, tiny GPS and plus search. And you will see this one. If you click this one, it has more information. Actually, I'm just looking at this header file. That's it. I don't need more than that. And I'll just say add to project. And it will ask me which project to add. And where is my project? Uh, which is... If it shows me... There's one at the very bottom. So I'll choose that one and add. It, it is not taking too much time. Add this one. It says congrats. And if you look at this... It is, you know, this is doing some progress because it is downloading that file. Platform INE, this library dependency edit. That's it. So this is the person's name and this is the library and this is the version uh, we edit. And if you go to the project and if you look at this one, library dependency source, this tiny gps.cpp and tiny gps.h automatically downloaded. So the good thing with this one, if you want to, you know, use this project again, you just need to store this INE, which initialization file, and main CPP, you should be all fine. Okay. So let's start coding a little bit uh, uh, with this one. I'm, uh, I need to firstly include, if, if you remember, I said you need to include, which one? Tiny. Tiny GPS. It is over here, plus plus. I click this one what will happen I'm going to click this one to get this okay easily so yeah I was using the long one. okay so tiny GPS dot, uh, you will see this but it will go away just wait it will wake up and it will go away and I need to create an instance of it first at the top tiny GPS plus GPS plus I'm going to name it GPS. Okay. So I'm going to do that. If you wonder if you really this is disturbing you, what we can do is just come to this one. This is in my machine. I'm not sure. Command palette. I will do reload window. If I do this, I don't know. It just wakes up in a second and it will work fine. So we don't have that red mark. So hopefully this will go. Anyway, I'm continuing typing. So we will be using the serial port. So serial dot, you know, begin. This baud value is as usual, 9600. This is just to, you know, print out something to the uh, console. Oh, this warning is gone, as you see. And there is another serial port. We will be using this, actually, this, uh, I'm sorry, serial one. 
you'll be using this one okay this is you may say what is that it is the communicating with um, I'm gonna show you uh, where is it I'm gonna show you this one we are going to use these two serials okay that's why the serial two we are going to communicate with that one going back to code here so serial both of them are there so in the loop part because we would like to get I'm going to say while while we are getting data from serial one dot available if there are some data this is a function so I mean parentheses here and let's open and close this curly bracket I can zoom in this code you can see more maybe I can manage to show you okay this is better so what I need to do is if I will be using the GPS objects I created GPS as encode function and I'm going to read read serial one dot read so whatever the uh, this device the sensor is going to give me I'm going to read that data okay so I will be I will be uh, just putting these things it is continuing to write some more code let's create a something called it message equal to serial one dot where are you serial one dot and then I'm going to read all the available string I'll be using this real until until the new line so it is a carriage return I'll be saying just backslash R I'll be reading all these things into this message I'm going to print all the message with original uh, you know to the serial with print let's use print line so you will see a lot of different mess but luckily they uh, this uh, GPS gives us a nice parser to get all this data in a meaningful way so let's try to now print the serial dot uh, you know print we will be printing some label here so the first one let's try to print latitude okay let's put like this lat equal and later on let's print uh, the value from GPS serial dot this time print line because we'd like to print and we would like to have a new line so I'm going to print GPS dot location the functions this is that's why I like uh, Visual Studio Code Visual Studio Code but it gives me this IntelliSense is great so this is the I'm going to get the location uh, latitude from here so what I'm going to do is just copy this paste several times so I need a longitude and also altitude and this will be in in meters uh, location dot I need to get longitude this is the function and I need meters where are you location okay I'm sorry I need to get dot altitude and in meters and miles or you can have any of them and that's all let's wait in between like four seconds so four seconds is four times one thousand so let's wait four seconds so I guess this is enough coding so if I click this one is it, it is going to build my Arduino is connected let's see you should see green bar success okay this is success and I am going to sorry about this I am going to just upload this so let's see what's gonna happen so upload is successful and when I click this terminal it will show me I'm sorry yeah a oh, serial monitor serial monitor so you'll see this is the junk we got and this is the latitude and this is the longitude of my current location so it is giving me all this information so this is 
this is working like that um, all is that's it that's all uh, we have done I'm going to show you record this and then show you the how it is working in real so here we go I'm using my cell phone to you know this one to you know show you here is the GPS module and if you see there are two different LEDs are just blinking so I got the data and this is my maker 1010 and everything is working fine it is connected to the, my computer this is the wiring this is standard you cannot change this much I hope it can zoom in all this cabling I just connect them through this wire so whatever you see in the picture it is the same thing so it is now working fine and if you go back to my application through this and it is working and getting all these data all of them is working real time thank you